That is the full Muay Thai rules with all the elbows and knees allowed. So enjoy it. Hopefully it'll be a great one as all the other ones have been so far and the fighters start early. Hard, hard kicks and punches and there is a knockdown early with a flying knee that landed just below the chin. It didn't hit the chin. It was almost in the throat region. Yeah, had that hit the chin, that would have been good night. I mean, that was an excellent knee. And you can see the redness there by the throat already and another big, big elbow as he moves in there. Shane Campbell using those elbows very well here early. Good job by, by uh, Trevor Smandich here of closing that space, not giving him the space he needs to land those knees. He's figured out very early in this fight that Shane Campbell's going to be looking to land that knee. Most of the fighters we've seen so far, Brent, have landed the elbows off a clinch, but it seems like Shane Campbell can land those lead elbows, which you were telling us earlier will be so devastating when we finally see them. Yeah, again, nice knee work there. Big lead knee. Trevor's Trevor Smanish not giving him much space when, when he gets inside. Smanish is, is trying for a takedown here, it appears, but he's got to do something to, to really defuse those, those devastating knees and elbows that Campbell have been flying in with. Yeah, that's a good job with clinch defense as well, is when you can grab the lower back like that and pull your opponent close to you, that, that means he doesn't have the space to land that knee. Big left hook is blocked, and Smanish is going to have to do something here. This height advantage seems just so, almost almost pushes uh, Campbell out of the ring accidentally, trying to get an advantage there, but the height advantage, like I said, just seems to be so uh, dominant so far early here. Definitely, and, and Smanage is doing all he can to keep keep that space. Big right hand on the inside, and Smanage now is, is being effective over the last 30 or 40 seconds of getting on the inside and trying to go to work. Yeah, he's closing that space and not giving Campbell a lot of space to land those knees and elbows. We've got to watch the headbutts here, and uh, obviously it would be unintentional, but whenever you get a smaller fighter leaning in like that, it it's all, often happens. Fighters are broken from their clinch. Smanage, two powerful, powerful kicks downstairs, and Campbell tries to respond, but none of those punches seem to land very effectively, and there's a slip. That was good timing you saw there by uh, Smanage as Campbell got his shield up for the first kick, but as soon as he put his foot down, he, he had a double kick there to, to land the second one. Big, sharp jab that caught Smanage moving in from Campbell. Smanish lands another good kick downstairs, and that's that same region he seems to be working there, Brent. That, that's a good idea by Smanish. Exactly. When, 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 you, when somebody has a height advantage on you and they're sticking that lead leg out there, you're going to want to work on that lead leg, just like he's they doing. Go with both of them. Yes. Excellent job by Smanish. Campbell lands a good kick to the abdominal and gets caught by a little left hook on the inside, off balance a little bit. Both fighters exchanging blows here. Both of them are very good fighters. And now Smanish slips with 10 seconds left in the round, and dare I say, Brent, it appears that that knockdown may be what uh, gave this round to Campbell, but Smandage definitely came on after that flash knockdown. I think so. Oh, but, uh, kind of a game plan for somebody taller than him, so that tells me that him, his corner, his team, they've watched plenty of film on Shane Campbell, so they knew what he was going to do. You see Shane Campbell there getting ready to come out for round number two. He's going to hope that he can get another early knockdown, or we'll see if uh, his corner gave him some effective tips to try to kind of and that rally by Smanish, and there it is, huge right hand, huge right hand and good good punches up against the ropes. Big right hand landed for Campbell. Those other punches were blocked very well by Smanich, and Smanich has, a, has a, well, almost like a crab defense in there. Yes, Covers up very well. Hey, hand, hand, keeps his hands up, he wedges. That's a takedown, that's a good takedown by Smanage, and he's really working those legs of the bigger man. Yep, good. it's a good idea by Smanage. Work on those those legs, try to blow that knee out. That's what that's what Smanage is doing. Campbell now showing some very good clinch defense. And he lands a really sneaky knee up there, upstairs with his long legs. As corners yelling, his face is open, his face is right there. We'll see if uh, Smanage now covers up wisely and uses that elbow as a shield almost. Yeah, the, the ref's gonna break him up. They're both working for the inside. They're at a stalemate. Big, big roundhouse upstairs by Smanage, lands some good punches. Campbell gets tied up in the ropes. Smanage says, I'm not going to hit you while you're tied in the ropes. Good straight right hand by Smanage. Smanage now almost returns the favor again and throws Campbell out of the ring, obviously accidentally trying to get some advantage there. Good left hook. Smanage is coming on here now in yeah, the middle he, of round two. He also landed a nice left of the body in that last exchange. Big left hook again upstairs, but now Campbell lands a good knee. That's the first good knee he's landed in quite a while. Campbell now coming back with a good straight kick to the abdominals as well. Good fight here. It's the last full Muay Thai rules fight of the evening. We got our two co-main events coming up next.
We're also going to be back in Jacksonville on June 23rd for all those fans out there watching. We'll be back on June 23rd with Shindo Kumite 13. And, and as you see tonight, excellent fighters evenly matched. Most of them, it's, it's just been a fantastic night for Muay Thai fighting. A great card, great night for Muay Thai, great night for Jacksonville. The so fans are being treated to a great show here. Two very skilled fighters in the ring now, both jockeying for position. Spears is, to me, this man has just really, uh, you know, returned to what he was doing at the end of the round, at uh, the first round, and maybe, maybe winning this round here. Yeah, he really is. He's really working him into the corners, working his combinations, then he's closing that distance and not allowing Campbell to create the space he needs to work his knees. Campbell very frustrated now, and maybe it looked like it might be an early night with those first two uh, elbows and knees that landed in the first round, but the fight is a completely different story here. As we are halfway through, nice, nice left hook that turned into an elbow by Campbell to break the clinch. Good knee and right hand. It, 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 and then Spanish does the right thing and, and closes that gap and, and hugs him so he cannot allow another knee like that to land. Campbell's corner is imploring him, keep it up, you're doing well. Both corners now asking their fighters to close the round out strong. As the action is pressed, it shows to uh, be just as even as the fight has been so far with Campbell definitely uh, ending the round with a, with a couple good punches, but not quite landing flush yeah, that's for a, Campbell. That's a tough, that was a tough round to score. It was a lot of back and forth, a lot of exchange, a lot for the judges to think about in that round. Some good knees landed by Campbell again. He returned to form there, but Smandage, and those kicks too low, have been landing very, very well for Smandage. Yeah, those become, those become very effective in a Muay Thai fight, uh, landing those low kicks, because the power starts coming out of your opponent's puncher, the more you can land those, those low kicks. Here it is, the third and final round. Fight number six of Shindo Kumite 12. We've got Shane Campbell fighting out of the red corner in the mostly red trunks. Trevor Smandich out of the blue corner as he pushes Campbell into the ropes. He's fighting with the mostly white and red trunks. Good display of Muay Thai clinch defense there by Smandich. As you see, he caught his knee and drove him into the ropes. Both fighters pressing the action, but nothing landing real clear here. Neither fighter again is willing to give an inch. Doing a good job of picking off each other's punches, but Campbell really pouring it on here. Oh, big right hand answered by a huge left hook by Smandich. Campbell appears to indicate a low blow, but the action will continue. Smandich again working those low kicks. And then not allowing Campbell to work that clinch technique. Nice kick upstairs by Campbell's, answered by a nice kick inside on the inside thigh by Smandage. Right hand lands for Smandage. Knee barely misses for Campbell, and Smandage's face is getting very, very puffy and red. It appears his left eye has felt several of those knees. But he's still, he's still got a ton of fight in him. Still working hard, closing that space. Smandage really, I think, could win this fight in this round, but if Campbell comes back and wins this round, it might be tough for Smandage to come back. That knockdown early, that knockdown in the first round, will very easily play a major, major impact in a close fight. Yeah, a nice foot jab uh, landed there earlier by Campbell. Campbell's also trying to land these flying knees as well. Campbell lands a nice kind of right hand uh, modified elbow there on the inside, backs Smandage off, and now he's returning his own low kicks. Smanish's low kicks are just devastating, but they have not slowed down Campbell from throwing his own legs out there into the fray. Great, great job by Campbell there getting into the clinch, but Smanish uh, 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 showing a lot of heart getting out of that clinch. Campbell really, really trying to impress himself to the judges here. Say that knockdown wasn't a fluke. I'm the better fighter. Great job by... I can't be pushing him into the ropes. I think, and then again, Smanich tying him up. Not, allow, just, not allowing that space that Campbell needs. Smanich appears to be smothering now. It looks like he's very exhausted. Campbell's also exhausted, but he's pressing the action. Uh, it looked like Smanich maybe needed a break there, and that's not going to be good in a close fight where you got knocked down in the first round. No, so I think Smanich needs to make a good, strong push here to impress the judges and ask for a win. Hand up. Hand up. Fight is winding down. Smanish needs to make his case here. He needs to explode right here. Nice left hook and a good inside kick and a slip after Smanish throws those. Good timing there by Campbell. Get that foot jab out there. Nice low round kick again by Smanish. Ten seconds. 
Let's see if Campbell can close the show and cement a victory here after a knockdown in round one.